and uh, away they go from that 1,700-meter uh, mark. Royal Guide, if you're looking for that, it's in the middle with the white face right now. Outside of that is Pewter Sky. After them, Mabuneng back in the third position. And Princess Ilaria about two or three lengths off the leader. Dungeons is racing behind that lot. Being followed by Napoleon is about six or seven of them. Follow my path. And Rosie Lemon is one of the trailers. And Silent Trigger at the back of the field. And eight or nine off the leader. As they move their way now towards the 1,000 meter mark. Royal Guide is in front, so going to swing for home your leader. Pewter Sky is in second, Mabuneng's a close-up third. Princess Hilaria, then Dungeons, being followed by Follow My Path. Napoleon, in the pink, about five lengths off the leader, is on a hard hold behind them. Then came Silent Trigger. Outside of them, Rosie Lemon, about five, six off the leader now, as they move their way and come towards the 600-metre uh, mark. Royal Guide uh, leads the way. Royal Guide from in second. Pewter Sky who moves alongside. Then Princess Ilaria. Mabuneng two lengths off the leader. Napoleon has got three or four lengths to find on the leaders as they travel now into the final 400. Pewter Sky, Princess Ilaria. Royal Guide to the inside. Mabuneng's gone inside of those. Napoleon's behind them has got two lengths to three lengths to make up on the leader. Royal Guide looks to come back at them along the inside. Royal Guide from on the outside, Pewter Sky, but it's Royal Guide. Royal Guide goes on strongly in the closing stages, and Royal Guide will come through for all of them. Royal Guide wins it. Napoleon second, Pewter Sky behind that, then Dungeons. Napoleon just want to watch that for a moment in the pink, looking for a way through for quite a long time. Eventually the gap does open, but Royal Guide, whilst all that's going on, you know, starts to progress and getting better and better within its stride and goes on to win it rather comfortably. So that's the outcome of race number five here from the Val, and that was, of course, a popular start for many in terms of the jackpots. So Royal Guard is the winner of race number five, as expected, Gavin Larina and Alec Laird team up. Well done to all the connections, of which there are many, to Jessica Joel, to Nolene Mulherber, Dr. Ashley Parker and Alec Laird as well. Alex not here. Happy birthday, Alec Laird. And another milestone, 100 wins for Gavin Larina in your sponsor's colours. That must feel good. Yeah, wonderful. That's uh, very fitting. Um, I didn't know he's 100, but thank you very much. And well, you have. Thank you, and it's great to do it for... For Vilkebos Drift and Mertzenten, thank you very much. Now, at the 600, I thought you were sitting with a very, very bad hand, but you had a pocket aces. Um, were you just that confident that you had so much underneath you? You know, Ali, he, he, look, it's the first time he's raced this way, but he, he broke so cleanly for me today and uh, nothing really wanted to go. So I was happy to go and take the lead and he really enjoyed it up front. But, uh, you know, he got a shoulder of the 16 and a half and, um, you know, uh, for the Sunday was, geez, he was on top of me, 800 out already and uh, try to make it difficult for me. So, you know, I just had to, to block the rest of the race out and, and ride the horse. And, uh, you know, just helped him carry the 16 and a half. Um, but he always felt like he had running in him and uh, he quickened up nicely that last 300. It looked like he was going oh so well through the halfway stage. He's got a lovely stride. How much in hand do you think he has from just a rating perspective? Because when you look, he's a 76. I know he obviously won late and started laugh late, so probably got a bit in hand. But, I mean, I wouldn't want to be taking him on in a handicap next time again. Yeah, look, he, he's, a, he's a horse that's progressive. Um, he had a lot of problems earlier on, and well done to Mr. Led and his team. They, they really got him moving well now. And, uh, you know, I think if we can just keep him sound and, and happy, his horse is just going to keep improving. Four more races, two rides are scratched, two rides are runners. Uh, Vivacious Spirit in race eight and Dark Tide in race nine. Do you think you can bring up 101 today? Yeah, look, uh, Vivacious Spirit, she's doing well at home. Um, I think she'll be competitive today. Uh, with her win, I'm not sure, but I think she's going to run a big race today. And then Dark Tide at the, at the back, 54 and a half. So I think I may just use that way today. And uh, he ran a great race just over a week ago. So I think it'll be, 
you'll be in with a good chance. Heard you can ride 53 these days. Uh, not yet, <laughs> but uh, well done to Moffat uh, again, to Mr. Led, happy birthday, and to all team, well done to Dr. Parker, thank you, to the My Herbers, thank you very much, and to to Jessica and Stephen, thank you very much for the support. Wilkebos Drift and Mertzman team, I appreciate it. Well done, Gavin. Thank you, Gavin the Arena. Hundred up, the raises about Moffat come across. Right hand man for Alec Laird. We've got uh, all of the guys, and uh, and Moffat is uh, Alex man. Moffat, very well done. Happy birthday to the boss. You known the boss a long time. Good celebrations. Yes, uh, happy birthday, happy birthday, my boss. Yes, his birthday today. So we did well to to celebrate his birthday today. And I would like to say thanks to Stephen Trailer, Jessica, Mr. Bailebe, my boss to pick up this was a nice sauce. And also and, uh, Ashley Parker bread and uh, has a share as well. Nice sauces, what do you think of them? Uh, I think they was going far away with this sauce. Also to some, I can go to some with this sauce. It's the sauce I pick up, because it is a good sauce. It's a better sauce we got in our stable. Well I done. Know we got a Bill Bowling's, we got other sounds, articles finish, but I like this one. You like this one, eh? I like this one. Well done, Moffat. I can see that uh, that uh, that he's going to go somewhere. So, well done, well done to the entire team. Uh, Moffat, don't go too far away. Uh, 1,500 Rand uh, World Sports Betting Prize is also going the way of the winning groom, but uh, that chick, I think, was taken away after race three. We'll track it down. Well done to Moffat. And uh, he obviously uh, has the uh, famous smart call bus that does the rounds around the half halt. So, uh, there we go. We found the... We found the check. Moffat, come a little bit closer. There we go. And uh, and show PK the 1500 Rand. Who is the groom? Is it not you? It's not me. It's not me. I'm well, presenting the grooms and the trainer. Well done, Moffat. Thank you. So there we go. Royal Guard is the winner of race number five. Nice win. He, whoa, ears pricked. Didn't look buried 800 metres up, but Gavin Lorena let uh, some of the runners go alongside and, and challenge him early. Like I said to Gavin, I wouldn't want to be taking him on in a handicap next time again.